earlier I showed you how to implement the half wave rectifier circuit using multisim but in that section I didn't show you how you can add the capacitor alongside the circuit now I'm going to show you how you can add the capacitor and also get half wave circuit out of it the process is exactly kind of like similar earlier what I need to do I need to simply add the capacitor in the parallel connection with respect to the resistor so that's it first of all let me simply implement the normal half wave circuit I mean half wave rectifier first so first of all I need a AC power source and then I need a diode 1N4007 diode then I need a resistor rated here and now I need a capacitor capacitor rated like this so I have got all of my components now I need to add the components in a circuit so let me simply do that right now I need to rotate the register and I also need to rotate the capacitor the the longer pole of this capacitor represents the positive section in I mean the positive pole or positive uh, direction all right now I need to simply uh, add the circuit like here and now I need to make sure to add this capacitor in the parallel connection with respect to this resistor like this and I need to change the RMS value let's say 3.54 and let's say the frequency is uh, some about thousand Hertz if you can't understand how I change the values in the RMS values and the frequency make sure to change the previous content where I explained this all right and now I need to add a oscilloscope let's say in channel a i want to get the input graph so i need to add this uh beside this or you can say in the same lines uh the ac power source currently is so like this and in channel b i'm going to get the output graph but this time i'm not i'm not gonna add the line to this resistor as i am connecting a capacitor alongside it so i need to add this channel b with respect to this capacitor and now if i simply start the simulation let me provide channel a first so i'm gonna make channel b zero and yeah i'm getting the graph this is my input graph this is the single channel all right now let's say I'm simply gonna get the output graph what I can do I can make channel a zero and channel B DC so this is my output graph all right if I get I mean if I want to get a single graph then I can simply click on single and this is my positive half cycle and if you want a negative half cycle what you need to do you need to simply change the diodes direction the same thing I did earlier in the earlier content make sure to watch that so this is it this is how we can implement a half wave rectifier with a capacitor and get the half cycle positive half cycle for getting the negative half cycle all right let me show you how to get the negative half cycle as well I am gonna simply delete this diode and I am gonna replace this diode with 1m 4007 this is the diode and i need to change the diode's direction so i'm gonna use ctrl r this is the change direction i'm gonna simply add this diode to the circuit like this now if i simply start the simulation and get the output you see that i'm getting the output graph in a negative direction so that means it's a negative half cycle like this